Hi my lovelies, it's Nisha. Happy Friday to you. I hope you've had a wonderful week. I can't believe it's Friday again. I think it feels a bit strange because we've had um, a shorter week really because Monday was bank holiday so it doesn't feel like Friday. It feels like this should be Thursday. Anyway, I've been very very busy and I've been recording some videos for you as well. There's some few exciting things coming up. Um, but yeah, let's do today's favorite and the usual chat. First of all, before I forget, I wanted to give a shout out to a friend. Um, we started YouTube about the same time and um, yeah, we became quite friendly. Um, her name is Christine and if you remember Christine Lamshed, that was the name of her channel. She has to close that channel down for, I don't know for what reasons, um, and she's started new channel and that one uh, is called Christine Mary. So I will leave you the link just in case, you know, some of my subscribers who were subscribed to her and don't know where she's gone. Um, I will leave the link to her new channel. Um, okay, so this week I was so so happy because um, one of the girl, oop, one of the girls here on YouTube who I'm really enjoying getting to know, and I'm so happy that I've I found her because here in the UK. Honestly, I don't know anybody around my age apart from a couple that do videos. I don't think our generation in the UK is into YouTube. Kids are, you know, kids do it all, but, but not my generation. So, uh, so her name is Karen and her channel name is Mrs. Ginger Beauty. I will put it all down in the description box. So Karen was so, so kind. Uh, she obviously heard me in one of my videos talking about eyebrow pencils and that I would like to try Anastasia and she said I've got one, the Anastasia brown, brow wiz in a color that does not suit me. So she said I gladly send it to you. She didn't want any money for it, bless her, but she said you might as well have it and try if you like it. So she sent me that and this one is in medium ash. And this is what I love, the re retractable pencil, very, very fine um, pencil. I love the spoolie and that's something she said that she loves the spoolie as well. It's very, very little and quite dense. It's so brilliant to brush out your eyebrows. Let me swatch the color. So this is definitely my colour, I I need to have something ashy um, and I love the consistency. So like you know I like the Clinique uh, super fine liner for brows. The co colour is a bit too dark I would say but it's quite nice, I still like that one. Then I bought the Estee Lauder new um, double wear eyebrow pencil and I think it's useless. It's very hard to get any colour out of it and it doesn't last at all. And this has just right consistency. Um, it's not too hard, it's not too soft, so I love it. And Karen also sent me um, some little um, samples with it. So thank you so much, Karen. That was really, really kind of you. And please go and check out her channel. She is lovely. She's no nonsense girl. She does um, reviews and uh, makeup tutorials and she has the most gorgeous hair. She's dark, she, she's not blonde. So that was my Karen. Also on the um, recommendation of Karen I got the Kiss lashes so she said she's not very good with eyelashes and um, these were very easy to put on that 
I, I mean, that wasn't the reason that I bought them. I just like to, I, I'm okay now with putting lashes on. And yes, this one is sticking out, not right. I still some have days that it takes me ages to put it on. Sometimes I just do it first time. I've just never seen these, never looked at them, and I wanted to try them. So I got these ones, and these ones are number 11. They come with this... Um, tweezers holder plastic which I think is absolutely pointless I didn't like using it I just use my regular tweezers but I like the lashes very much I'm wearing them today they are very, they are similar to Demi Wispies I would say so yeah I really like them so that was on Karen's recommendation as well okay what else so uh, you might know that um, I went on Monday, I think it was Monday, went shopping and I got a few lippies. So nothing new, nothing probably that you haven't heard of, uh, but these are new to me. So I got a couple of MAC lipsticks and I got the cream, cream cup, which is cream shin. Cream cup and angel are similar and because I've had angel, I wanted to try cream cup and it is, you know, your pale it's a, I would say it's quite neutral pink very pretty I like the smells of of them so I know I will definitely wear that and I like the cream sheen the second one I got myth and this is satin myth is your peachy nude you know and I love wearing those with very strong eye so there it is i think these two are like must-haves and then i got from mac another dazzle glass you know i have the this dazzle glass isn't it yeah dazzle glass i've got the like venus and i love that one and this one is similar but a bit darker this one is called money honey and i love it because it's got that sparkle on it let me put it in between these two and then i will put it on the top of cream cup i love these look at that so it is one with blue undertones which I love but it's a bit darker than um, like Venus let me put it on the top of I'll put too much now on the top of that cream cup I'll put too much but there is on the top of the cream cup I just love them um, and the name is so appropriate dazzle glass it, it does dazzle because of the sparkle and it is like glass so I love them then I I don't have many much stuff from Too Faced and you know I'm trying to be really careful I don't want to give in to to any hypes too much so these lipsticks they came out I think last year and I got Naked Dolly and that's another one that is really really nude love this one this one is very very creamy feels so moisturizing so it's sort of similar to myth but it's very very moisturizing and um, almost feels like balm so love this one too because I don't have enough nude lipsticks um, and let me just show you now i leave the best for last so last last week i told you about the makeup revolution cheap drugstore make and the dupe for naked three that i was using and i was really enjoying well i went ahead and got the iconic tool which is dupe for naked tool and here it is I've looked here on YouTube and on, on blogs, on swatches, and they seem to be almost identical like the ones of in Naked Too. So that's what I'm wearing today as well. I really, really enjoy it. I am so glad I've got them. I don't feel I need to go out and buy the Naked palette. And like I said, that is £4. And I wanted to try other things from this company because I was, I was so impressed with 
with the palette. So I thought I just couple of lip products. So they have these lipsticks that look a bit like NYX lipsticks that you can see the color. So of course I chose the nude because I thought you can't go wrong with nude. And the lipsticks are only one pound, so it's just ridiculous. So there it is. Okay, so this one is a bit more peachy than the rest of them. Love it. It is so creamy. It doesn't really have much smell to it. Can't really smell it. But it is so creamy. It's really nice. The only thing is it's very, very cheap. I mean, this hardly... I wouldn't put it in my handbag because that doesn't even click properly. And the second lip product came in a beautiful box and this is called Amazing Care Lipstick in Love Pink and this is very cute. So, I don't know if you can see, it is sort of see-through all around and the colour is in the middle. So it's supposed to give you, um, it is very hydrating and moisturising with amazing hot colour. Okay, so, so this lipstick is supposed to soothe and hydrate with argan oil. So I don't know if you can see this see-through bit that goes around the colour. And it is so soft and so moisturising, but it does have a great colour payoff. So I ordered this hot pink. And while you're doing it on the hand, it sort of looks patchy, but you can really get proper coverage on your lips. And it's really moisturising. So, and I think that was, that one might have been two pounds. So you can't go wrong with these. And like I said, I leave the best for last. And this is quite new. The Christian Dior Fluid Sticks. And I've seen a lot of people here on YouTube talking about it and I thought, how great can it be? There is so many products like it out there. There is the YSL that does the similar thing, uh, Maybelline, Rimmel, I've got the Rimmel ones that are like similar stuff and I thought it can't be that gorgeous. But when I was shopping I went and had a look at it and the sales assistant was so sweet and she talked to me, she actually gave me as well a, a sample of brand new mascara that's just come out. And I thought I'd try it. And the packaging is just to die for, can I just say. And it looks like lipstick, but it's one of those. Okay, and mine is in Kiss Me. The colour choice for me was in the lighter pinks and there wasn't many cool pinks in there. I think actually this was the coolest. Um... I love the smell of it and do you know what, I am so glad I bought it, I think I want them all. This is unlike anything that I've experienced on my lips, honestly. It feels, even though I have similar products, nothing feels like this. This feels like I am putting on cool gel that bursts into water on my lips. <laughs> That's the only way I can explain it. It is the most amazing sensation. It is very moisturizing, hydrating and even it doesn't stain your lips but stays on your lips for a long time and the shine might, might be gone but the color is staying. I know it's it sounds weird, but that's how, maybe the darker ones stain your lips, I don't know, but that's what this one does. So when I first got it on Monday, I swear for the next three days, I had to stop myself now because I thought at that rate I'm going to use it in a week. I kept reapplying it every opportunity. Every time I came up upstairs, I would put it on because the sensation is honestly unlike anything else 
they have experience with a lip product. So I love, love it. It is expensive, but if you're going to buy this summer one luxurious, easy product to use, I would buy this. Because also, I don't have to have a lip liner with it. I don't have to be really precise. It's something that you can just throw on and it looks good and it feels good. So, you know, sometimes we, we spend a lot of money on a lip product, but that lip product might be only something that you can wear out or you have to uh, have... Um... Do you know what? Today, everything is going against me. Can you hear someone mowing or trimming hedges in the park next door? just as I'm filming. So I had to shut the window. You can't hear birds now because um, someone is cutting hedges. Anyway, yes, so, you know, I have expensive lipsticks that I hardly ever use because or they go just with certain makeup or, you know, you have to apply them really um, carefully with certain lip liners, this you will get your money's worth because you will love it and you can just throw it on even without looking in a mirror. So this is my absolutely favorite this week. Okay, let me tell you about um, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. So I've had a just over a week to play with it and like I said I love it it is a beautiful product beautiful quality beautiful packaging but do you have to have it no it is not gonna I can see how it can be actually bad for some people because if you have really really large pores I think that will um bring them out. I think this product might be very good when you photograph yourself because you will have the light reflecting effect going on. But in real life, I don't think, I still love it and I'm using it. I tell you how I use it. I just get my brush through all three of them and put it sort of mostly around here, here and on my chin. But do you have to have it? No, you don't. Um, I'm, I'm sure there is hundreds of products out there that can do a very similar job. Um, but I still like it and I don't regret buying it. But if you think it is too expensive and you can't afford it, don't feel like you're missing out because you're not. Okay, let me, I've, as I'm talking about lips, let me tell you what I've got on my lips. Uh, today and that's been quite favorite throughout the week as well is this combination Ilamasca coloring pencil that's what it's called I suppose you can color in, in with it a uh, lip pencil in power and it's this beautiful orangey corally pink so there it is so I've got that on. Then I have Revlon, sorry, Rimmel Color, Color Rush in Give Me a Cuddle. I love this. This is so easy to use as well. You don't even need um, lip liner. And I also topped it up with Revlon Lip Butter in Sweet Tart. Okay, so these three I have on my lips and I love it. So that's been quite a favourite this, um, this week as well. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. Every Friday I'm meant to tell you about this product and I always forget. I've just dug it out. It's been in my draw for ages because I don't even think, I think since then this has been reformulated and this is Laura Mercier um, foundation powder number three. So there it is and it comes with a little sponge which I don't use. 
I love this thing. Um, I think since then there's been the packaging is different. I think it's round now, but oh my gosh, I love it for for that flawless look. And I just set it here in the middle over my foundation. Now this is foundation powder. I don't use it as such as foundation. I use it more as a setting powder. It mattifies me a bit gives me more coverage and it just looks so flawless. So I really, really love it and I feel like I might go and purchase the darker one because in the summer I will be darker so I might need the darker one. This one is get, it's just right for now. Um, I also got NYX HD Finishing Powder. You know, I've used for years I don't know if I've already told you this. I might have, but I can't remember. I don't think I've told you about this. For years I've been using Eshiko powder and that was because I watched Goss, Goss, Wayne Goss, makeup artist, talking about it, that it was fantastic finishing powder. You know, one of those white ones, uh, loose powders, and it was better than makeup forever because it didn't leave you with the white cast in photographs well yes so of course i bought it. it was a tiny pot cost a lot of money but it lasted me a year so and i'm just coming to the end of it and i was thinking shall i repurchase that it's not like i'm being followed by paparazzis and photographed all the time and i worry about white cast so um I looked at the next and that was I think £10. It's massive. This is massive. That's going to last me like two years. You have to be very careful. It's got a sifter but the holes are huge. So be careful if you've had it upside down somewhere. Be careful when you open it. And it is beautiful powder. Really finely, um, finely milled. Feels like silk. So I bought that for my setting powder. Don't need anything else. What else did I get? I, when we went shopping, uh, Max wanted to go to Hollister. I think in US Hollister is the same as Abercrombie. I'm not sure. And I know this is, <laughs> it makes me laugh always, this shop, because you walk in and it's so dark in there. It smells gorgeous. It's very dark, so you can't see the prices. And the music is blaring. And I don't mind the music so much, but the darkness, I want to see the colours for what they are. And it's very, very diff difficult. So I, I find this shop a bit depressing, to be honest, but kids seem to love it. And yeah, I always find something to buy in there. Um, I love the uh, zip-up hoodies and and I love the t-shirts. They're really soft, so I got one t-shirt. You probably see me in it already because I've already worn it. So I've got this t-shirt. It's so soft and I love, love this colour. And then I saw these, hang on, I'm wearing them, these flip-flops as well. Um which matched my t-shirt so I had to have them and you know I love these flip-flops I mean I wear it day to day I wear these sort of flip-flops every day but believe me not all flip-flops like this are made equal because these are the softest loveliest rubber I think they were 15 pounds these ones just because they Hollister um, and the t-shirt t-shirt was probably 20 pounds um, yeah, but they are so soft and I absolutely love them. The thing is this handbag, okay? So let me tell you about this website. I got it from, let me stand up. I've got it from this website, I think from China, which is called tinydeal.com. And they sell absolutely everything on this website, anything you can think of. And I think delivery is free anywhere in the world. I mean, you can buy car parts in, for your car, you can buy handbags, you can buy clothes, you can buy makeup, you can buy jewelry. So I don't know about the quality of it all, but this handbag, and I'm sure this is probably 
uh, trying to be some sort of designer handbag but I think it's really cute it's made really really well the handles have this golden it's not hardware it's not it's actually um, leather like um, product then that's it inside obviously the zip is never finished that beautifully but this bag I think was 16 pounds which is absolutely nothing and you get the detachable strap as well so yeah I think the bags are really worth getting because they are not very bad quality and if you're not into bags and you don't want to spend money on designer bags you can get very um they're not copies as such but handbags that are made in a fashion of designer pieces so i will leave the link as well to that handbag on that website also i don't know if you've noticed that my video today is not back to front so you're seeing me like you're supposed to see me it's not a uh, like a mirror reflection uh, one of my um, subscribers told me about this video on YouTube that explains how to flip um, the video that you record in photo booth because that's where I record on my um, Mac computer in photo booth but unfortunately photo booth gives the mirror image so sometimes you would ask oh are you left-handed and now i'm right-handed but because you're seeing it as a mirror image that's why what it looked like so now i try to flip my videos and this is brilliant because now you should be able to read when i show you things you should be able to read them they won't be back to front so thank you to whoever told me about that video if i find that video on my link in below okay my lovelies that's it for today um that's all i've got to tell you today there's gonna be quite a few videos coming out um this coming week and maybe even this weekend um yeah there's been a lot that i wanted to tell you so um have a wonderful weekend whatever you're doing and wherever you're going um and i see you soon Bye.